Hey guys, it's Chris here from Solar Proof. Just wanted to share with you an update to our system where you can upload many more interval data types than previously. Um, so the Solar Proof system is a lot more robust now and can handle almost any file instantly out of the box. So here's some examples of files that are tested and working in the Solar Proof system. So you can see these CSV files will go in no worries at all. You've got that um, horizontal format, no problem, vertical, everything. So I'll show you real quick how it works in SolarProof. We've just got a basic project in here with a single page uh, template. So all you need to do is select from data file for your load profile. Choose which one, as long as it follows this basic sort of format of any of these files, you'll be right. So as you can see, that one's gone straight in. And you can see also that since we didn't have enough data, it's actually done an average of each weekday for the prior months that it didn't have to make up the full year. So that's the most accurate way we could do it. Um, and if you have too much data, conversely, it will just take the most recent data available for 12 months. So here's another one. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, goes in there nicely. You can preview all the monthly outputs before saving it into your system. Uh, so let's try it over here. We've got some Excel files as well. So these ones you might be familiar with look something like this. So I think um, particular networks have different ways of doing their data and this is a pretty common one. Uh, so let's select that one. There we go. You can see it's just loading for a sec. Excel files tend to take a little bit longer than CSV just because the files take a little bit of extra processing. And there you go. It only took a few seconds. Uh, we'll try another one here. We've got, what's this, Excel example 3. So I'll just show you that one real quick. Um, looks like this. It's just a vertical format. This kind of date time. Put that one in there. And it takes a few seconds for that one. I think it's a particularly big one, so you just, just be patient with it if it takes a, a little bit of time. Uh, if by chance you come across a format that it doesn't accept, let us know. It should give you an error and um, you'll, you won't see any of these charts pop up. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. That's how it works. That's how easy it is. Use interval data, it's the most accurate way you can do a proposal. Um, and then once you've saved it into the SolarProof system, you can just select it from this drop down box here. Uh, you'll notice it pop up with the name that you gave it when you saved it into your system. And away you go, it'll go straight into your project, no worries at all. So uh, there's a link below this video with a bit more information. Um, and a place where you can find all of those da data files um, as examples in case you're wondering exactly which ones can it can handle. Uh, there is also horizontal ones. Uh, you know, some of these horizontal ones, they have E1. Some of them have like E1, E2. Uh, so this system can handle it, no worries. It'll pick up the E1, the E2, the E3 and it'll ignore everything else. So you don't have to do any manipulation to those files. It'll just go straight in. Easy as that. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch up next time. See ya.